Hi everyone, my name is Victor. I am the operations manager here at the station, in case y'all didn't know that yet. And this is just gonna be the camera workshop. I won't take too much time out of your hands, so I'll just get right to it. So I've already taken the liberty of taking the tripod out of the bag. Um, I'll go quickly through how to set up the tripod. Just get it out of the bag. It should look a little something like this, as you can see here. And then once you have it out of the bag, Make sure to extend it to however long you need it using the leg locks on the tripod legs. So right here, this is the lock. Right now it's locked. I can't move this up and down. But once I unlock it, as you can see, now I can shorten it or widen it. Now when it's in the bag itself, the tripod bag, make sure the legs are all neat and short all together so then it can actually fit in the bag. Moving on to the top part of the tripod. So we can see here, this right here, we have the arm. Remember righty tighty lefty loosey. That's how you're gonna get things going with anything on the tripod, really. So as you can see, I got the arm out and now it won't, like, it won't move. Now I can use it for movement with the camera. This right here is how you can get it to move around a lot and make sure to lock it once you're done with it. Next up, we're gonna get the camera on the little plate itself, which by the way, the plate will always be on the camera. Never take a tripod plate off the camera. There's a little arrow telling you which way it's facing on the bottom. So have that arrow slide on in from the arm side of the tripod. And it should slide in perfectly. You wanna lock it. To lock it, there's a little knob right here, right next to the arm. You wanna bring that upwards. Make sure it's facing up. Now the camera won't move side to side. Now it should be good. Now that your camera's placed, more to the tripod, this right here, right under the where the battery would go, this is the pan. So as you can see right now, I can move it around with the arm. But once I pull out the pan lock, as we can see right here, now it's locked and it will <laughs> refuse to move unless you brute force it. Do not brute force it once it's locked. It's a little tight. Be careful when you're locking and unlocking it. Next right here, this is gonna be the tilt, the biggest one on the tripod. I am loosening it right now. Lefty loosey, so, so you can see. Righty tidy. And now it will not move no matter how strong I pull with my arm. If you need to loosen up the friction on the tilt a little bit, so as you can see right here, it slides really quickly. If you wanted to like slide, let, uh, not as smooth, I guess. You wanna mess with the friction here. So it tells you there's a little red plus and a little red minus. Minus is less friction, plus is more friction. It's just how rough the tilt will be. It's, there's a little green bubble right here. In that green bubble, there's a smaller bubble. You wanna get that inside the circle to level your shot and to do that, there is a thing under the tripod. Right here, it's like a bigger knob. And again, it's more of a righty-tighty, lefty-loosey situation. Once you loosen it up, it'll allow the tripod to move. This one's a little squeaky. They're not all squeaky like this. And then once you level it, once you get that right in the center of that circle, and it's kind of hard to show you from here, but once you get that right, it should be leveled. To get the camera off the tripod, you wanna go back to this knob next to the arm, make it to where you can move this again, put it all the way down. And then on this side, there's a red button. So you wanna hold that red button and then slide it away from the lens. On, so the back side where the battery would go, slide it that way. And then it should smoothly slide off the tripod, hopefully. <laughs> Moving on to the camera itself, here we go, here it is. I'm gonna show it off off the tripod. It'll make things a lot smoother and easier. So starting off with the battery to get it turned on. 
make sure when you're checking out equipment, you always have two batteries. So here's one, and it is at 100%. Some of these batteries you can check that, some of them you can't. Just depends on the battery you get. And the other one is right here. So they should be in the camera bag with the camera itself, 100%. So to get the battery in the camera, you wanna push it, put it in just a little bit, push it up, all the way to the back, and then down. And then it will be a small click. To turn on the camera, first you wanna pull this out and fling it open, like so. This white button right here, turn it on, boom. Now your camera is on. Real quick, y'all, I just wanna interject. The secret word is scarf. S-C-A-R-F, scarf. Zooming in and out, in and out. And to do that, it's gonna be right here when you hold the camera like this, or if it's on the tripod, you should just have your arm like this. It will be a pretty big button and it should, you shouldn't miss it. This ring right here will mess with your focus and say your focus isn't changing, maybe it's on autofocus, right? There is a little button called focused A slash M slash, I guess, infinite. You wanna go ahead and press it it's gonna be right here. Don't know if you can read that. Go ahead and click it. When you click it, it should be switch between auto and manual. You want it on manual, that's how you can change the focus for yourself to how you like it. And again, the focus is this big ring at the end. For iris, it's gonna be the small ring. So not the zoom, not the uh, focus, but the iris right here. You can just mess with it however you want. And again, it has the same situation of being auto and manual. It's gonna be right above the focus button, right up here. Click on it if it's on auto, and then you can change it to your liking for your video. Lastly, we're gonna to touch on white balance. So right here, white balance is gonna be in the same column, but at the very bottom, it's gonna be labeled WB. Whenever you're doing white balance, wherever your anchor is, get them to hold a piece of paper and white balance from there. Don't hold the piece of paper in front of the camera. This will not work. It's a common mistake. Keep it from where your anchor is so then we can white balance the anchor. So not here, but like wherever they are. And again, you press this button to white balance it once you're zoomed in on that white piece of paper. It might take a few clicks, but it will work eventually. Next up is formatting. So to format a card, you're gonna click on menu right here, and then the menu will pop up. There is, this is a touch screen, and although you can't very well see it, there will be other function, format card at the top, and then you can click on where, whichever slot your SD card is in, and you can format it. Now to put in the SD card, it's gonna be, hold this button, right here, and then flick this open. And you can just put in an SD card wherever you need it. So next to touch on is audio. You'll have it in your bag, but this is the XLR cable that you will need. And this is the stick mic. Now with audio, I'm going to go ahead and show you that this side, uh, they might teach you in class, they call it the female side, is gonna go into the mic itself. As you can see, the male side is on the mic. Boom, it connects. Now the male side of the XLR cord is going into the camera. And I'm going to put it here in input one. Just know this is input one, this is input two, they're labeled. That'll be important in a second. So once it's an input one, now you can go over here and you'll see the channels at the bottom of the screen. You see that little line going across the bottom of the screen? That's the two channels. T bottom one is channel two, top one is channel one. So 
as you can see, there is no audio going into it right now. Neither the camera mic or the stick mic I'm holding. The way to fix that is you're gonna to wanna to open this compartment. And as you can see, remember we put it, we wanna change channel one, right, on the screen. So we're gonna to go to channel one and we put the mic in input one. So we're gonna change this to input one, which is the middle right there. As you can see, it's input one now. Now when I talk into this, when I talk into the stick mic, it should show a reaction. As you can see, you get the feed right there. And channel two will not show anything because we did not mess with that. Now I recommend you turn this on for channel two so then it catches the camera mic as well just to have some backup audio in case your lavalier, your stick mic just doesn't record the audio as planned. Lavaliers will come in a little box such as this one. I'm gonna wanna open it. I'll put it, I'm gonna put down the camera. I wanna open it. And then there's the lavalier. This is the male part of the lavalier. And you should have a little fluffy end to the lavalier in the box. And so you can go ahead and just place it on it like so. And then into the mic. It's the same way from here on out with the hand mic. Just put it in uh, input one. Now the only difference is clipping it rather than holding it. What you wanna do is you wanna bring it under your shirt to hide it. And then as you can see here, I already have my other mic and just clip it on just like that. And that's how you pretty much clip on a lavalier. And so that's all I have for the workshop. Uh, make sure to take that test. It should be coming out with this video. Thank you.